Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our abstract thesis series where we are digging deep into the concept to learn how things work in Power BI. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications for the new videos. So what we are going to discuss today that we have done this all time intelligence setup correctly and still we are not getting this state entity. So let me show you my all setup. Okay. So date table joined with the fact table. So I have a date table which I've created. Okay. This is correctly created. I have some additional column and it has date till 2020. I have sales data, which is also till 2020, October 2020. Now I have a join. Okay. One to many perfect join. Now my sales date does not have any, uh, timestamp so let me check that out okay this is my format i made it date time and there is no timestamp in it so that is also correct and we we have seen in the past it was behaving correctly in our last video you can go ahead and watch uh, the five things to make your time intelligence successful now i am uh, because i am taking only the card visual which is basically here date mtd i am taking in card visual so i am definitely considering time from the date table and you can see my formula dates MTD, which I'm considering here. So calculate sales date MTD is where I am actually using this and this is still coming null. And if I look at it, I do see a data in October coming, but here I'm not seeing it. L Y T D is coming, but this dates MTD is not coming. Now, what is the final rule, which is saying dates has all dates and we have seen, we have data till today. So why it is not coming. So I, what I've done, I copied it into a new page. And let me do one more thing before we actually jump into this one. Let me create one more formula. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create one more new major out here. And this is the major and I'm going to call it LMTD. Okay. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new addition to it. I say date add and I'm going to move it one month back. Okay, one more additional parenthesis required and I'm going to replace this here. Interestingly, both are null. Why? Now, when you don't give a date, see this date doesn't, this page doesn't have any filter. Now, when it, the page doesn't have a filter from where it is going to pick it up. So what I'm saying is it is going to pick up the end date of the calendar and different time intelligence function behave differently. So this particular function dates MTD or dates YTD or dates QTD is going to pick up from the end date and how I'm so sure about it. So let me go ahead and make it a step and you will immediately start seeing the data out here. So you see now you are getting that 17.765.47 and these are the numbers which you are seeing here. Okay. Uh, um, so this is the number you are seeing here and you can actually go and see here this just rounding off. Okay. So rounding off to 17 and then this is 6.47. So 6.47 K. Now, so am I correct in seeing that? So let's, let's take one more example. Let's take this dates YDD and it's coming till now. Okay. Now it, it is still coming with October in place and this number, let's look at the card visual. 866 is the number which is uh, correct. Now let's move our calendar further in the future. So what I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it as 2021. And you see everything is blank. It means somewhere the date is coming. Now there is no date filter here on the page. So the date is coming and I'm going to show you one more thing, interesting thing. So let me add one more card visual out here in this page. And what I'm going to do, if you remember when we started this time intelligence with the last video, we have created one YTD, which was on the fact. So, so this is, if you look at the formula, this is on the sales list. How does, is it get it getting the correct? answer because it is end getting the end date from the sales table which is actually the end date where my data is ending so i am able to get a date so even if i would have created mtd i would have get the data because i am getting that month okay interesting question so then let me go ahead and add my calendar on the max date okay so i am going to say I'm going to add and sometime it could be today because you can end it on today. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it at sales date, max sales date. And does it give me similar kind of results? Okay. So I'm going to try that out. And immediately you see that all the results are coming. So it means when you are not giving the date, the date is going to be picked up from the date you have passed as a parameter. It's not the date table. It's the parameter which you have passed. What is the parameter we have passed here? Date dot date, date, date from the date table. Here we have passed, what the parameter here we have passed? Here we have passed the date from the sales table so it is taking that one and now they are matching because both of them we have pushed onto the max but that's not going to be the ideal case you are might not end because you might have targets you might not add and the calendar on the dates you might even have 2021 2022 data you might have targets for that so then what is the way around so if today is not possible so most of you will have data till today we have for this example we don't have data so you can add one of the ways to end it at today max state is another way uh, you end it you'll get it data now there is no other way now you have to have a filter out here you can't avoid that so what i'm going to do i'm going to put down here and i'm going to take month here as a filter i'm going to take month here i'm going to filter on october everything settled down and please remember when you select october don't expect that your ytd is going to change january february march april and increasing ytd it's only going to show you October YTD and October is the only month going to be displayed. We will take that topic how we only select October and still show all the months. So uh, this is October YTD. This is interesting. So we, if we don't select a date, if we don't initialize the date, our time intelligence, in spite of having all the correct details will not work because it need to get a date and that date is going to come from the date which we have passed the time intelligence function. Okay. Now let's do one more experiment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one more measure and I'm going to call it sales previous. Previous month. And what I'm going to do in the sales previous month is I'm going to use one more time intelligence functions that is previous month okay and why i'm doing it i you will be able to know very soon okay and let me create another card visual out here okay present on october numbers matching everything perfectly we are happy about it now let me do one more thing let me copy this page we have everything Let's duplicate this page, call it as T4. And let's do one more thing. Now I'm going to remove this. It's fine. I'm going to put a date slicer out here. I'm going to make it as a slicer. And let me move it to October. 31st. Okay. So this is September. Let me move a bit further. October. And let me move to 31st October so you can see the previous. Why the sales previous month is blank now? We have a date selected on the page. Sales MTD is coming. Sales LMTD and complete month is when I'm taking, let's say sales MTD is basically month till date and I have taken till 31st. So it is as good as previous month. So previous month should have worked. Now there is a difference. There is a difference between the, the way the dates is taken by different time intelligence functions. So the day, way the dates MTD works and the way previous month works is different. So that is one difference. And there is one more difference that is MTD and this is previous month. We will also discuss that, but we will discuss that is in another video. So watch this and in this video reply, why do you think these do not work? And my idea is correct or maybe that different explanation. So correct that if that explanation is wrong. So give the comments. Keep watching. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.